How's it going everybody? So it's been a long time since I've done a walkthrough of our shop so I just want to show you a little bit about uh, what we've been up to and uh, I think it's been two years since I did a, a, a true walkthrough. It's like I, I never really get it exactly where I want it so I put it off, I put it off, I, so I'm, I'm going to do it now so you know, it is what it is so let's just... Alright so here's what we call the Dreising glass. That's the Dreis booth for now. Um, this is our way of executing uh, our cleaning service without contaminating the entire shop, which you've seen in some other videos where people complain you can't do dry ice in a building because it just makes everything else dirty. Well, we, we solved that problem. Uh, we got obviously great lighting and we changed those filters out about every third or fourth car, they're ten, uh, let's see, they're, they're dollar a piece, I think. And then we have a HEPA filter at the top of the stack and we keep our air conditioning inside here. Uh, this is a little 16 valve that belongs to Turtle Garage. You can see uh, a little before and after. This is the kind of stuff we start with and this is where we go. We wanna make them look like that. A little bit more work on the exhaust, but just touch up a few things. So anyway, so here's the booth. Here's the extra wide, extra tall lift. Challenge 10,000 pound lift. Just enough clearance. Dawson, my son, the fashion designer at Abercrombie, my lovely wife of 40 years and I, and Rex put this thing together. Probably don't know that I'd want to do it again, but we did it. We got it done. Uh, here's a client's car, Sean from a BMW uh, Service Center in Orlando. This is stick shift 1800, pretty cool car. We still have to get the reflective thermal covering on these doors. We got two of these doors to do here. You may remember the Garwood V16 Miller powered boat that we sold. Two of those rascals in that 1932 foot boat, and that's the the million dollar Riva that we sold back in 2011 at Mecham Auctions. And so we got a little dry ice there. We got a little surprise back in the corner there that I wish it was up and running. I could show you, but it's not. We still got to work through our tank. That is a dry ice pelletizer. And these are some wackadoodle chairs that I found that were used uh, by the Air Force to work on the underside of airplane wings. Uh, we have an aer aero creeper over here that we found that's a little lighter duty. Uh, those other chairs we like because they actually uh, raise up and down dramatically with struts. Uh, these are Evos, ICS, dry ice cleaning machines. We have a nice supply of those. You can go to Obsess Garage and buy one of those and we'll show you how to run it and use it. We've got 30, I think we sold 37 of those things uh, now since March. Got a little OSFO. If you don't know what OSFO is, oh my gosh, you got to know what OSFO is. Uh, my lift and forklift, those are kind of for industrial machines. You might think, eh, whatever, forklift, lift, but those are special to me. They're both low hour, well cared for, um, 2005 and a 2012 year models. Um, Obsessed Garage is going to hook me up with some cabinetry. This is a disaster. He's going to come over. We're going to clean his uh, BMW soon, and this is definitely going to have to get changed. Uh, it's our little floor cleaner to run around the shop. And uh, we got our little Max Shine wheel holder, which is pretty slick. So you just put the wheels and tires on here and you can roll them around and, and clean them. Uh, so here's my latest acquisition, I'm using it as a table for the moment. But this is a downdraft table. So this thing's pretty cool. Um, it is a... Uh, we got to build a backstop, so back here across the back, and then this end is four by four by eight. So you basically you put stuff on the table, and you blast it and clean it, and it goes down through the air is pulled down through the, these filters, and then runs along up through that stack through a HEPA filter up there, and blows up into the space nice and clean. And then every once in a while, a poof of air blows into this filter and it drops the dirt down in here. And then you just pull out the tray and clean it out. So we've done a first 
first level clean with the dry ice machine and OSFO. Uh, you know, just to give you an idea what OSFO can do, this is rust first one time with dry ice cleaning and one cover, one treatment of OSFO. Still see some of the rust up close, right? But here is the almost final, almost completely gone. This was all bubbled and rusty and nasty. And that OSFO and dry ice combination is the bomb. You'd be shocked at how you can remove rust that you think is scale rust that's not going to look great. So we got a blue mat instead of these old rascals here. This is a nice blue soft mat that'll go on here. And we'll probably paint this thing blue to match uh, the lift and the curtain and such. These are our vacuum reels that can also serve as pneumatic reels. So this is going to be our one inch hose that's going to be our 3 8 inch hose so those will exit right here and here so we'll pull those out and hook up to our dry ice machines whether it's the evo over there or the pcs or a new machine that's coming soon so you've probably seen some posts about this little rascal uh one of our dear friends on the list car dealer uh, aficionado and preservation uh promoter this is a 1955 Speedster that we will be finishing in the next or coming weeks. Uh, it is not going to be restored. It is coming along nicely. We're just about ready to pull the top off and clean more on the inside. So look at that door. That door used to look like this. Oh, yeah. That's mold, and it's a lot of it. And look at that. There is carpet there. So we're gonna continue working on this beautiful car. I'm very excited about it. And we'll get it de-dented. We'll get the dents taken out of it as well. The scratches will not be touched up. But look at this, this is really cool. So I challenged my guy Rex, my Mr. Detailer, you know, so so check this out this is dry ice level of clean right it's pretty awesome so i said hey rex i did my left half the driver's side you traditionally clean the passenger side eh, pretty good he, he hasn't done this yet but he did he did this part check it out do you see this is the crowning difference of dry ice look at that you can't get in there and the dry ice does a great job doing it so more to come on that uh, here's my favorite wheel machine you've seen a video probably of that where i install and remove my wheels here's the wheels off the 190 16 valve we're trying to decide what kind of wheel stand we want so when we take the wheels off like this they're not laying on the floor i'd rather have them on a stand that we can wheel them around. Uh, here's my crazy air-powered vacuum cleaners. More on those later. Those are, they suck. Ha. And there's number 125 that we sold, kind of rocked the Riva world back in 2010. Uh, Don Perdome's, one of Don Perdome's, Perdome's funny cars that he sold us. We had a lot of fun with what a great guy that guy is. Very much enjoyed meeting and getting to know him. And here's our old compressor system that I complained about so much. Don't buy a compressor from US Air. It's just been a very bad experience. Sorry, but that's just the reality of it. Uh, pick any other brand. Don't do that. Hankison desk and dryer I've used for two years. It's been great, but we have an upgrade coming that we are really excited about. It's a Nano. So you're going to see that in the next room. Uh, yes. This is the foosball table my folks gave us in 1973 or 4. I can't remember. I think 74, maybe 5. And we did dry ice clean it, and it came out beautiful. And aside from one electrician, I'm undefeated so far. <laughs> All right. Let's go into the next room. I think we covered this space. It's a little dark in here. There we go. It's a little, again, so it's like not ready for prime time. It's gonna be dark for a little bit here. 
This is our new compressor system that we just finished hooking up the electrical for today. And, you know, if I had to spend another 15 minutes, maybe the place would look better. But it is what it is. Okay, so here's Mr. 40 Horse Air Compressor. This thing is so cool. <sighs> yes, I can get excited about air compressors. So we custom build, uh, built this duct work here to get the hot air out of the space. And uh, Randy Osborne, local carpenter, and I conspired. He built it. Uh, I helped design it, and we're really happy how it came out. And then we had Steve paint our walls harbor gray. I got my two minions here. Dawson, my son, says, do not paint those as minions. But I'm probably still going to do it. And uh, here's old Red, my uh, O2 F250 7.3 diesel. That uh, I'm getting a little weak. Like maybe I might sell it. I got this V70R spec stick shift going to come up soon on Bring a Trailer No Reserve. An ex Boston car got some rust on it, on the fittings and such, but not structural issues. Should be a really fun piece for somebody a lot of money's been spent maintaining this car uh those are really cool to drive if you've never driven one or had one there's the kr that we sold and bring a trailer for 262 and change um this past month monday and there's my little uh one of 50 one of 50 mini club van v-a-n v as in victor a-n i don't know if it's open or not yeah so yeah, it's a van. Yeah, it's got that wire thing and it's just no seats back there. It's just, it's a delivery van. How about that? Never seen one of those before, did you? Only 50 of them in the US. This beast, Michael at the Dent Company, sent to us to dry ice clean. We did uh i don't remember now how many hours we spent on this just bringing it along a little bit getting some of the surface rust off what a great look 1998 look at that thing coming to bring a trailer that should be interesting very interesting so what do we have here oh mr larry mr larry burns from ontario Probably saw him on the TV show. Oh, he's going to be mad at me. I can't remember the name of it. But he used to do a TV show up in Ontario. He's moving to the west coast of Canada. He bought this at an auction that Deborah and I were at in Aspen and asked us to take a look at it before they shipped it. And he's enjoyed it for the last four or five years. He says, you know what, Scott? I'm probably done with it. So off to market. We'll be submitting this to bring a trailer soon. Really cool story in this car. It was purchased new, new, by the family that commissioned Frank Lloyd Wright to create Falling Waters. How about that? Nice history. Yeah, it, history on cars and provenance, they don't necessarily always mean they're worth more because of it. It's just fun. You know, when you pull up in an antique, classic, or a unique car, it's fun to be able to talk about the history of the car. And this is a great story uh, to know that there's some association with people that appreciated style enough to hire Frank Lloyd Wright. So we'll be uh, organizing things a little bit better. Sorry, it's been a couple years since we've walked you through the place, but there's a lot to happen. If you don't know about our Patreon group, you might not even know what Patreon is. I didn't before March. We do have about 58 guys so far. Wish we had a gal. But 58 guys across the globe, four different countries, that are entering into the dry ice cleaning business. Some have currently functioning businesses. Some are doing standalone places. And we're just helping them along, and we provide them support and information about how to efficiently and effectively do this work and spread the word. We will soon have some pretty big announcements that I'm excited to share with you. Can't do it yet. Coming soon. 
Um, just overall, excited about what we've been able to accomplish together. We do have a lot of great guys in the group that have really contributed some wonderful concepts and ideas, and we, we are we're kind of living the uh, community as best to grow your business motto. You know, you just leverage all of the minds together, and you know we have a Zoom call every week. Um, one hour on Monday, six o'clock. So if you're thinking about it, it's the first place to start. Like you could spend 10 hours poking around the internet and trying to find information about dry ice cleaning. And we got 25 hours of Zoom calls that would like give you more information that you could possibly digest and understand in, in just a couple sessions of binge watching. So big Discord conversation going on all the time. Love to have you, have you be a part of it. Uh, if you have any questions about where you should have your car done, go to DreisNation.com. Follow me, the Dreis man on Instagram, DreisNation.com. There's a map, scroll down just a little bit. You'll see a map of all of our providers, the ones that are actually cleaning cars now or coming soon. And uh, stay tuned for further developments. Thanks for uh, hanging in there with us. And so, so long since I've seen you, but uh, I'll try to be a little more regular about my videos and look forward to it. We'll see you soon. Almost forgot. Taycan Turbo headed to peak car market 3,000 miles. What a beast. Check it out soon.